Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to process tagged data in AntConc. Now another video shows you how to download AntConc and get started with the software, so I'm just going to go in and load uh, the journalism or press subcorpus of the brown corpus, which is a million word corpus of general English. And for this video I'm going to be using the tagged version, as you'll see now. So I'm going to go to File, and open files. And then I'm going to navigate to my corpus. In many videos I've been using the brown corpus untagged and this one I'm going to be using the tagged version. So I'm going to select uh, categories A, B and C as I've done before and open those into the software. So now let's just look at one of the files and you'll see what a tagged uh, corpus file looks like. So these files have been tagged with parts of speech and you can see that the word appears then there's an underscore and then there's the tag uh, for example AT would be article if we look at the word grand then we have an underscore and then JJ which would be adjective and then the word jury is tagged with a NN1 tag which would be a singular noun and so on now, if you don't make any changes to the global settings, uh, the tags here effectively serve just as any other word. So, for example, I can search for the word jury in the search bar at the bottom here and hit start, and then I can find all the words that are jury through the text. I can also type in a word with its tag and search that. And then I will find, for example, all the words jury with the um, tag singular uh, noun. And I can also just search for a tag on its own. For example, VVI is the tag for a verb infinitive form. So if I type that, it will just treat that like any other word and search for that in the uh, file. So we can see here, uh, for example, investigate with its VVI tag there. Now, if I go to the concordance tool, I can do a similar kind of search. For example, I can search for jury with its uh, N, N1 tag and produce the results for this. And you can see them in the middle here. And if I sort the results, then it will sort them. But you will notice something a little odd here is that the um, search word is being shown here. And the first word to the right is now actually the first tag. The second word to the right is the, the second word, and the third word to the right is actually the second tag. Now this is not exactly intuitive, and um, it's because the tags are being treated just like any other word, but we can improve that, and I'll show you how in a moment. But staying with the uh, default settings for a moment, we can also uh, use wildcards and for example search for any word with a VVI tag which is a verb infinitive form and we can get those results quite nicely. And you can see them here. And we again we can sort them as before. Uh, I'm going to sort on 0, 1 and 2 to the right. And if I sort those results then we will see a few odd results at the top here where the actual word itself is some um, punctuation but below that then we get what we would normally expect and we have all the a letter words we can go down and see all the others these are all verbs in the infinitive form we can also plot these results which is not so intuitive here there's so many verb infinitive forms that the the plot is almost completely black if I just go back to that previous search of jury as a singular noun, we'll see a slightly different plot here. And we can also plot clusters. So, for example, if I do my verb infinitive form plot again, we'll get something like this. Just a moment. And then we can see a summary of, of this with get VVI being the most frequent word with that VVI tag. Notice uh, that the cluster size is here 2. 
even though only one word is showing, and that's because the tag itself is being treated as the second word. Let's go to the word list and show you what the results would look like here. So if I just create a word list as normal, the software will proceed through and count all the words, but the results will again look a little odd, with the most frequent word being NN. Now if we look in the corpus, we actually won't find any hits because what will have happened is that the uh, word list tool counted words and tags and then counted those up but because the one at the end of the tag nn1 is not a normal word it wasn't included in the count so in effect the um, tag itself has been split up into words and non-words and these are the results you, you get as I say, this is not so intuitive, but there is a better way of doing this kind of count, and I'll show you that now. The key to working with tags well is understanding two concepts. The first is that uh, the tags can be shown or hidden uh, through the global settings. So let me first uh, go to the global settings and hide the tags that we already have. If we go to the tag category, we can see that the default setting is to show tags. But on the right of this, we also have hide tags. Now, what tags will be hidden is determined by these boxes here. Uh, we can hide non-embedded tags. That means tags that are included inside angle brackets. We can also hide embedded tags. And these are what we have with the brown corpus with an underscore and then the tag coming after. We can also hide header tags, for example, a Tay header that appears in some corpora. So if I click on hide tags and enable all of these options and click apply, if I look at the original file, for example, the first file we were looking at before and click on uh, the file name, you will see now that all the tags have been hidden. They're still in the file, but they're just not showing now. If I look at round B, we can see all the tags have effectively been removed. That means that we can now do a completely regular search and we can see the results as we would expect with a, a non-tagged corpus. So for example, I can find took place, which is at the end of this line. But of course, if I type a, a word with a tag, for example, jury NN1, we actually get no hits because the tag has now been removed. Similarly, I can go to the concordance tool. Uh, if I search for jury NN1, I'm going to get no hits, as you can see at the top. But if I search for jury, then we get the results as before. Again, the uh, tags have been completely removed from the corpus and we can now do normal sort, but of course, it doesn't allow you to then search for tags. I can also make a word list, uh, and now the word list will be as it would be for a non-tagged corpus. And we can see here uh, that the most frequent word is the, of, and, and those uh, NN tags appearing at the top have now been removed. So with this setting of hiding the tags, Effectively, all the tools can be used as if um, you are using a non-tagged corpus with them, which can be very convenient if you want to do regular searches. There is, however, another option in the global settings, which is to hide the tags, but also allow searching in the concordance tool, the plot tool, and the file view for those tags. This is a kind of hybrid search and I'll show you how that works now. So if I type in the word like jury as before, we can find those words. However, if I type in a word like uh, jury with its tag, I can also find that. You can see the tag is not showing, but I'm actually doing that search, which means that I can also search for any word with a VVI verb infinitive tag and find those two. As you can see here, investigate, find, and so on. So what I'm doing is searching for the 
a tag, but then when I find the result, it is hiding the tag from the display, making it easy to understand. Now there is a shortcut, which is Control Return. If I click that, I can actually reveal what the software is actually doing, showing the uh, word and its tag. So Control Return will reveal the tags, but if I hit a normal return or start, then the tag will be hidden and the results will be shown. With this setting, I can also go to the concordance tool and I can search for any word with the tag VVI at the end and it will proceed through and count them as we were doing before. But when it produces the results, it won't show those tags, it will hide them and we can get a nice display like this. We can then sort the results, uh, for example, on zero, one and two words to the right and we can get this kind of display. which is uh, similar to before, but you'll see now that uh, we don't have the tags appearing, as you can see here. So this is a very useful setting, uh, especially for concordancing and uh, looking at files. And I strongly recommend you use it, but it does require a little bit of computer power, so it does slow down the software a little. Let's look at one more aspect of tag processing that is important to understand. If we go back to the global settings and set the tag settings to show all the tags, and we do a search, for example, of jury, as we've been doing several times now, you can see that uh, we have the form A to Z for the word, an underscore, and then NN1 for the tag. Now, the default setting for a word in AntConc is letters. In, for English, that means A to Z. Now, if we want to count words with their tag attached, then we would have to alter the definition of a word. Uh, we can do that in the global settings. So if I go to global settings and select token definition, which really means word definition, I can then uh, look through my options and change the definition to what I want. So for example, we can see here that the tag NN1 includes numbers. So I can add numbers to my token definition. It also includes an underscore, which is a punctuation uh, character, but we don't want to include all of those punctuation characters. So I'm just going to append an underscore to the definition. So now we have letters and numbers and an underscore all being included in our definition of a word token. Now if I apply that and I go to my word list and I create a word list now, before we had the NN appearing at the top, but now that will disappear and we will have more of what we consider to be words. So we can now see that the with an underscore AT is the second highest word. We still have a, um, an underscore itself being counted as the most frequent word, and that is probably uh, a tag for punctuation in our original data. And it's actually probably this example here, period underscore period. So the period and is being removed, and the underscore is remaining as the most frequent word in our results. But you can see that uh, the results are a little better than before. And uh, if I now search for jury NN1 and search for that, we can now find our tag. Notice that it's all been um, changed to a uh, lowercase. We can find the, find the frequency of that. And if we click on that uh, word, we can find the concordance uh, view for that result. So that's a short introduction to uh, using tagged data with AntConc. Thank you.